because tomorrow we go to the new yard. We're iced in pretty good, so hopefully that won't be an issue tomorrow. Today it is. Today it is. It's like a a wintry adventure. Breaking ice. It's haul out day. And that was the last thing that we filmed until now. A huge thank you to Squarespace for their continued sponsorship of our channel. We are Brett and Jade Evans. We decided to go for our dreams and purchase the direct sailboat. We're working hard to restore it and to document the journey with new episodes every week. Subscribe and join us on our greatest expedition yet. Big update time. I just booked our hotel. Can't stay in the yard that we're at. We're gonna motor over to a different yard. They'll haul us out. It snowed a crazy amount yesterday and the day before. Tomorrow's like our window that we have to get the boat over there ASAP. We're iced in pretty good, so hopefully that won't be an issue tomorrow. So we need to clean, pack, load the car, and we got a lot to do today. Just gonna go make a run, check in, drop things off the hotel. We will need to come back. I guess come back and take a look, see what else we wanna take with us. But we're gonna leave on the boat. Fix up the day. I'm trying to run after Brett to, to film him throwing stuff away for the vlog, but I can't catch up because I'm slipping on ice. You can only, only waddle so fast. <laughs> anyway, here's a clip of Brett throwing stuff away. <laughs> Took a lot of effort to get that shot. It did, it really did. <laughs> Alright, to the hotel. Did we close the boat? So, no, I don't think so. Okay. Maybe we'll start with that. <laughs> okay, I'll check in. We are just headed to our car. Okay, run down. We need to go back to the boat, pack up whatever we have left, because tomorrow we go to New York. Big moment in our life, and tell me if you can relate. We've decided it's time to throw away all the unmatched socks. Right, babe? I have your full and unconditional permission to throw away unmatched socks. Yeah. All right. Real quick, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this episode. We are so grateful to Squarespace for sponsoring our channel. Through both their sponsorship and their web design platform, they help make sharing our story online easier. We are happy to be an example of how Squarespace's beautiful and simple interface is empowering individuals to create their online web presence or launch their passion project. Their customizable templates and responsive interface mean that you can spend more time doing what you love instead of struggling with the back end of business building. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash expedition Evans to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Final stretch. Almost hit Brett in the face with the GoPro. We're starters, but we have made it to the final cabin. In the final countdown. The final cabin. Of the final finale of it's really late at night. We want to go to bed. We are nearly done though. So we just have to look through all of these cabinets, see if we're taking anything. And I think that's a no. So in for the stuff. Alright. We're just doing one final walk through the boat. The car's all packed up. Hit the galley light, grab those yeah, apples. Like subscribe button. We're out of here. Do you think we'll ever be good at telling people to subscribe and like? And no. We're really terrible. No one's good at it. We're, it's just awkward. But, you know, subscribe. Dogs have associated memories, and our dogs fill up suitcases usually mean Brett's going on a trip for a long period of time. And so they get really stressed whenever we pack. So Dingo's been on edge all day, Penny too, but Dingo more so. He really hates him, Bradley. You comfy, dude? <laughs> Sleep time. Your hair looks cute. Thanks. First stop for today's agenda is Ace. Actually, it's the second stop because we already went to one Ace and they were totally sold out. But they told us the Ace in the town next door still has some boating antifreeze. It's a little bit of a drive, but that's what happens when you wait till halfway through the winter season to drive your vessel. The next 
last mystery question is whether or not they will accept our coupons. These ones have the address of our local ace. So will this other one take them and give us our $10 off? That already went in. I'm gonna go see if I can find them. Oh, the cart is running though. Leave it on I think this is totally overkill. Alright, done and done, which means... Done, done, done. Yep. <laughs> about four hours to get it all totally clean before we need to hit the water. Time to start. It was quite cold on the boat. We turned on all the heaters. Some were on overnight. Kept it survivable, but not. No. I don't know if I would have survived. <laughs> ah. Wow, check out this ice. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. Little teeny tiny snowflakes. It's like icing. It's, it's just white out here. You would think it was overexposed, but it's it's not. <laughs> Should we do it? So here's the thing is that I think we're better off as far as the ocean condition goes today. The problem is we can't see, so we're gonna have to roll all this up. It's gonna, gonna be gonna very it cold. cold. I can just be the windshield wiper. <laughs> I'll just go out there and... Yeah, just go today. It'll be fun. Okay. This is... crazy. <laughs> There's a bird standing on the ice. <laughs> Where? Oh my god, there. <laughs> Did she just brush the ice? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Should be fine, right? Yeah. Okay. We can take most of these antifreeze bottles down below. <laughs> we can't ever remember what they're called. <laughs> Not cool it. <laughs> yeah. Here, let's start the engine. Let it start warming up a little bit. Way to go, engine. <laughs> Check out the exhaust bubbles, like going under the ice. It's gotten windier. It's gotten windier and the snow started to come down a lot. But it's gonna get horizontal. So, they broke the ice. It's gonna get very cold tonight, which means that now is really our best shot to get out of here. Today it is. Today it is. It's like a a wintry adventure. I think that's exactly, exactly what it is. is. Yeah. Expedition frozen. Let it go. <laughs> Sorry, you're thinking? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> should we untie? We should. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, if you want to jump on. Yeah. Oh, I don't slip. <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making me nervous too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty slick on deck. It's really beautiful. We're breaking up! You can see the ice breaking ahead of us. All right, okay, so here's where they broke it earlier. Now we motor. Hopefully make it safely to the new yard. I'm just gonna organize some lines and then hunker down a little. That was smooth. Look at all these swans. Where? Well, there's two swans. The rest are actually oh. just mooring balls. <laughs> <laughs> About That's those funny. contact lenses. <laughs> two of them, no, three of them are swans, right? No, just Four. Two. Just two. Are you sure those other yeah. two are, are not? <laughs> those other eight are not swans. It's pretty ominous the direction we're headed. We're making great time. We're human popsicles, but we're making good time. Did you say we're human popsicles? Yeah. As soon as we got out of the bay, then it wasn't as big. 
actually got an issue with the ice. We haven't seen any ice now that we're out here. The bay is pretty brackish, which is why I was able to freeze a little bit easier. There's a lot of snow getting in. Like plastering the side of my face. Yeah. about to start pulling in. There's nobody here. We called ahead and they are all gone for the day. So we are on our own. I'm not really sure where he's getting all his excitement from. But like... I'm getting it because if I don't be excited, I'll freeze to death. So <laughs> I'm opting for life. All right. What a day. Tis a day. All right. Lock that guy out. Throw it in reverse slow down. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're here. We made it. Extremely uneventful. That was great. A couple of the guys, I had called them on their cell phone and they'd already left and two of the guys actually came back to help us. Like, And uh, we're just kind of loosely tied up, so we'll tie it up a little tighter so we're safe through the night. <gasps> okay, wearing clothes? I am wearing clothes too. <laughs> what? <laughs> And it was significantly warmer. No, what did you just say? Windshield. I said we're enclosed. <laughs> I thought you were kidding. <laughs> okay, we're enclosed. Uh -huh. We are dressed. Should have seen the last video, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I ordered some bread bowls. They're coming delivery style. We are going to get started with the engine. Yep. Winterization. Yep. Because I think winter is coming. Winter is here. <laughs> How do you feel with your toes warming? It's definitely getting better. My big toes now hurt, which is good. We need better footwear if we're ever going to do anything like that again. I'm so grateful that they came and helped us stock up. I was really nervous that I was going to slip on the dock and I was slightly frozen. So that was really, really nice of them. Thanks, guys, if you're watching this. We really appreciate it a lot. We're gonna go to the front of the marina to take possession of our soup. I think we're gonna be really happy at the shark. Jade's made us a delicious dinner. I'm the best chef around. Serious wife points right there. I got you, babe. What a beauty. Brett just beckoned to me. I'm bringing you guys with us. I think we're about to learn. Okay. What's your idea, babe? Water goes through the hole, through the strainer, then through the engine. Yeah, because this collects any kind of gunk to keep the engine from getting clogged. Which it does. Okay, I'm... It's kind of like in your pool. I'm following you this far. Okay. So we can just pour it right R there. Right into the strainer? Right into the strainer. Okay. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yep, that's good. That's solid paint coming out. No good, problem. good freaking job. Well, I'm very, very happy. Brett, are you as happy as I am happy? Brett is happier than I am. Very glad. We're super tired and super cold. I am so eternally grateful that Brett was willing to be the one to crank the engine because I didn't want me to go outside. I'm such a wimp. So thanks. Welcome. Okay. Good job on that. We awesome. were planning to do the tanks tonight, but we have dogs that need to pee. So we are yeah, going to do the tanks. Yeah, we realize it's late, so we need to. Yeah, we're going to leave the heaters straight. running for the night. Yep. Go take care of the dogs, and we'll be back here first thing in the morning to do the tanks. Good morning. It's haul out day. It's haul out day yet again. <laughs> oh, look at the huge icicle hanging off the side of our boat. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Once we get this one filled up, then both of our tanks will be full of antifreeze. And all we have to do is open up all the faucets, get all the air out and all the water out. Let's get into the paint. Last step is the stern shower. This one's already broken. That's yeah. cracked down it. so powerful. All right, we're 
We're doing it. They're headed over. We're gonna hop. So they aren't able to pick us up because we have all of our rig up and everything. Right now, our force day would have hit the, the travel lift. So they're just gonna tie up, flip it around, and we'll try going stern in. Hopefully, it'll give the room that we need. They're gonna move us onto the hydraulic trailer. We're gonna push the lift. That way, they can move us, I think. Oh, yeah. That way, they can move us into a smaller spot. I think we're too heavy for, for this, the traction on the bobcat. <laughs> and so he's trying to make a turn, but he's just spinning. Can't be easy. At least, they're, I mean, not, uh, they're prepared. You gotta give them that. I'm doubtful. It's gotta go up a hill. And we weigh a lot more than that little bobcat. How you doing? I'm good. It looks like they're all, uh, Commiserating? That's not the right word. Deliberating. They're over there making a plan. Oh, the plan looks like bags of salt. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we had lunch, grabbed the car, brought it over. Our boat is all stood up. Stood up. We stood up the boat. <laughs> it looks awesome. They did a fabulous job. Yep, very pleased. One problem though. It's like eight feet off the ground? Yeah, and we didn't get our ladder off of it in time. So the ladder is up there and we're down here. We gotta figure out how to get up there. and the day of the haul out were so sporadic and jam-packed with to-do list items that it wasn't until the boat was on the stands and everybody was gone when we realized that it was really time to say goodbye and that that meant closing the doors and leaving behind the boat that had been our world. We did a final walk around to make sure that everything was packed up, that we hadn't forgotten anything and we walked away. And that was the last thing that we filmed until now. It is Thursday, June 17th, and it is currently 115 degrees outside of my car. And I'm kind of baking because I turned the car off. I'm turning the car back on. <laughs> it's too hot. It's no longer winter. A lot of time has passed. So where have we been? What's been going on since February? We've been working. That basically sums it up. It wasn't really supposed to be this long, but then it was. Um, and here we are. Hey guys, this video was actually supposed to be like three or four different episodes. I was just kind of getting tired of editing the snow and living so far in the past. And I thought, hey, being real time might be really fun. And I might totally regret that. Let's find out. Let's find out if real time is fun. So here we are, it's Thursday. Uh, I think this video will go out tomorrow or Saturday and welcome to our real time life now. So, why have we not been to the boat since February? Because Brett has been working. Brett's been working overseas for the last about four months. I think it's four months. Maybe it's like three and a half. It feels like four. It feels like six. It's been a while. Okay, do you guys remember how I said it was hot? I wasn't lying. My camera just overheated. And so we are now on the phone. But I think I was to the point of saying Brett's been gone for four months and it's been terrible, granted, we're super grateful that he's been able to work and I've been working so much. I've been, I don't even know where to look. There's the camera, okay. Fred's been working. I've been working, I've been so busy that I wouldn't have been able to hang out with him much anyway. I have missed him so much. And that's where we are today for our real time video right now. We are currently sitting in the cell phone lot of the Phoenix airport to pick Brett up and he just texted me. Sorry, one second. Uh, he just texted me a waving emoji. Okay, I think that means he's either, he must be on the ground which means we're gonna go get him now. Now that Brett is back in the United States, we will be able to go to the boat and start the adventures again. And we're gonna be doing that all real time. So welcome, welcome here. This is, I'm like kind of starting to realize the fact that we're vlogging real time and I'm starting to panic a little, but 
you know, hey, here we are. Let's see how this goes. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited to get breath.